This is the UK's largest cruise ship. This is Avia. Let's head on board. Welcome to our tour of a ship that had its maiden in 2022. A capacity of 5,200. It's the UK's largest cruise ship with four pools and new for P&O. High ropes, mini golf, escape room, green and co and the 6th street diner. We're going to see it all including the spa area and the kids club. Welcome along to our tour. It's cruising with the four B's. I'm Tom. We're going to start at the top. Deck 19, the sports courts, the altitude area, which includes the mini golf. Are you brave enough for altitude skywalk? This is slightly more difficult than we've been used to. And it took about 20 minutes for you to learn the ropes, as they say. It's good fun. If you're brave enough, ring the bell. Let's head to the aft for the panorama pool and bar. This was a port day. As you can see, plenty of choice. Less choice on a sea day. We'll take a look at the other infinity pool later in our tour. Splash Valley Splash Park. The little ones, great fun especially on Mediterranean and Caribbean cruises, which Arvia does plenty. Continue to midship. We're on deck 18 at the moment. Now, if you want one of these chairs, you'll need to be up early. Very early. Game of chess. This is the sister ship of Iona, which started life just after the pandemic. And it does have these extra features that we just noticed with the skywalk, the golf. And as we go around, I will let you know what the differences are. This is the jogging track. I'm going in the opposite direction. Luckily, no one was coming the other way. 20 whirlpools on board, that's one of them. And towels to be collected on each deck. One of our favorite places was the Sky Dome. This is the Sky Dome, it's got the Sky Bar. Roof can be open, it can be closed. In here, it's swimming in the daytime with also entertainment, with quizzes. You might even see Shaun the Sheep. Evening entertainment. And the acoustics are a lot better in here than they are in the Sky Dome on Iona. You don't need to book any of the shows in the Sky Dome, just turn up, it does get quite busy. There is two theatre companies on Arvia, so one's based here, there's a variety of shows and game shows.
to now deck 16, so we've headed down to deck 16. The daytime snacks, we're talking burgers, hot dogs, chips. Kids loved it here. It's included. If it's not included, you will see a pound sign in the corner of the screen. As fast food establishments go, this was good. It gives a thumbs up from the four Bs. So Avia does Caribbean cruises throughout winter and then heads back to Southampton for two week Mediterranean cruises throughout the summer. On our cruise, we visited Valencia, Barcelona. Throughout the summer, it does go to other places like Marseille, Mallorca, and then obviously throughout the winter, it is the Caribbean islands. And in the Caribbean islands, in the hot weather, you'd like an ice cream. This is Sundays, it is an extra charge. And Laguna is the second bar, or the third bar actually, in the Sky Dome. It's the second bar on deck 16 in the Sky Dome. Now heading back up briefly to deck 17 and then on to 18. Are you following? Hope you are. Plenty of places to relax in the sun. That was the smoking area and another one of the whirlpools. Welcome to the Beach Coma Bar and Pool. The pool is adults only. Sorry, Alice and Ernest. The retreat area. This is an extra paid area. You can purchase this for the cruise or on a daily basis. This was booked out actually within a day of our two-week cruise so you'll need to be quick and an overview of the beach coma pool really more sunbeds top up that tan these screens are really useful we're going to head now to deck 17 while we head to deck 17 if you're enjoying this video please give it a like and it takes a second and it really helps our channel out and if you love cruise content and we've got plenty coming from Avia then press that subscribe button it's free and from the four B's we say a big thank you for fine dining it's Epicurean it's one not to be missed on a four B's cruise if you're new in your vows, you'll be doing it in the Ivory Suite. On every sea day of our cruise, someone was renewing their vows. If that was you, congratulations. For a nice, nice peaceful time, it's the cruise nest. A gentleman or lady in the evening will be tinkling the ivories on the piano, and you'll have stunning views, whether at sea or in port. Maybe not this day, it was of a container port. But for a lovely relaxing bar, it is the crow's nest. Okay, let's whiz back now. Back down to 16, straight through the Sky Dome. Hold on to your hats, we're not stopping. We're going to head to the Horizon Buffet. Horizon Buffet open for breakfast, lunch, dinner. And if you're still feeling hungry, Grandma B was amazed at this, there is midnight snacks. Part of the Horizon also turns into the Beach Club. That is an extra pay, £9.50 cover charge. Well worth it, we do love the Beach House. And on formal night, it is also part of it is the chef's table, which is basically an overflow 
of the MDR, but you can book that before you head on board. A lot of the bookings open up two weeks before. And other things you can book on the app. Well, I call it an app. I know someone will correct me. It is actually a web page, but you can book other things on the web page. But take a look two weeks before your cruise on your booking page, and you'll be able to book some of the restaurants, including the ones for slot times before 6.30, so perfect for families. But we continue in the aft. This is the Infinity Bar and Pool. Check out the views. I loved it in this pool, whether at sea or in the port of Barcelona. And behind this pool, we did have the Swim Up Bar. If you would like more information about the Swim Up Bar, we have videos on our TikTok. We have pictures and daily updates on Cruising with the Four Bs on Instagram. And I have an opinion or two on Twitter. Just find us Cruising with the Four Bs. But we did love this Swim Up Bar with a beer and a cocktail. And there is the ever-changing view, but normally pretty stunning. This is the games area. Just turn up, there's also scheduled games in the horizon. Take a look every morning. Table tennis. Me and Ernest had a go at all these games. Some more successful than others. Okay, the kids club on board. We're gonna do a full video all about p Kids Club. It is known as The Reef. And Alice went to Scuba's. This is the Scuba's room for 9 to 12. You do registration once again from two weeks before your cruise. And then you need to book a place from 8.30 the previous morning for the next day. If you get that. On this one, Scuba's was no bother to book. Surfers, less so. Luckily, Ernest uh, didn't want to go to kids club so that was lucky also got splashes between two and five and we'll take a look at the teenage club later because that's on another deck we'll do a full video on how to book and all about the kids club coming up in another video those are the top decks those are the open decks what do you think but now we can't stop we're gonna head in the lifts between 9 and 15 is cabins so let's head all the way down to what I would say is my favorite part of this ship it is known as the sunset bar offers amazing sail away views and amazing views at sea you have a dj on different set times he'll be playing some sort of chilled ibiza tunes but all ages are there offers amazing views really really liked the sunset bar You can also walk the entire length of deck eight. You can check out the sunsets, sunrises, head into one of the many whirlpools. There's outside seating for the keys. Even in foggy conditions at nighttime, it offers spectacular peaceful views. And even when there's thunderstorms, it was quite impressive this thunder thunderstorm. And this is a night where it was very, very foggy. So it was very, very spooky, but uh, kind of peaceful, kind of cool. But yes, you can do the full wraparound of deck eight. But you got to head back to the Sunset Bar, through the doors and into the clubhouse. This is, by day, you have talks in here. You have bingo, very, very important bingo, very, very busy in here. You also have magicians if it's school holidays and other children's acts. Sooty appeared in here, the legend that is Sooty, with his disco party. 
and then most evenings you do have the pulse band pulse band is the piano house band always called pulse but has different members in it they do a hell of a lot of songs they do it really well well and also in here you do have comedians you sometimes have late night comedians so basically it is the place to have a drink to have a dance have a boogie it is the clubhouse and you'll find this at the aft of deck eight another great addition a change from iona was green and co it is a plant based and fish restaurant and we were really impressed really really impressed we went in there weren't sure about what a lot of the things were so we kind of just Took a stab in the dark and it was really 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 tasty absolutely loved it in here it is extra so for a family of five as we had grandma on this one it was 84 including drinks but we would 100 percent say it was worth it i had the shakala wellington you could also have the crispy garlic cauliflower courgettes and plenty more some great names in here but it's definitely worth it check out green and co Oh, we, have an all, uh, we seem to have a lot of my favourites on deck eight. So this is the keys, where you can get your teas, coffees, you can get uh, some lovely puddings here. And they've also got three areas. Once again, a change from my owner, this is the roast. So you get a full roast dinner in a Yorkshire pudding. To be fair, before I got on this, I thought, ah, this is not going to be that great. But it was actually really, really tasty. Absolutely lovely. Do love the keys. You've got the fusion here as well i recommend the vegetarian and the katsu chicken curry here there's plenty of seating seating goes on for quite a while and also outdoor seating and to finish up there is the fish and chips fish and chips is the same from iona but i really like this concept and it's got some good quality food this is what we get in the keys It also offers breakfast, pancakes, bacon, full Englishes, and eggs many ways. Did I mention the puddings? I love the puddings in it. This is Sindhu Bar. Surprisingly, it's attached to the Sindhu restaurant. It's fine Indian cuisine. It is a Pino favourite, this one. I'm sure you've been in to a sindhu or you are going to when you go on a piano restaurant what is your favorite speciality restaurants this is extra you can pay a deposit beforehand and it's taken off your bill and if you pay it on land before you get on board you get 20 percent off as well they offer a children's menu or they can get food from the keys so perfect One scoop or two, it's up to you. It's Ripples. Here you can get ice creams of many flavors. And the start of the show is the afternoon tea. You'll get to see it in a minute. Amazing, absolutely love it. But only get it for one. Doesn't matter whether you've got two, three or four, get it for one, because it's absolutely massive. I would actually say this is my favorite afternoon tea above the traditional afternoon tea, which you can get in Epicurean. You can also get teas and coffees here, but normally there's a queue and normally the way to direct you to another one of the Costa outlets. Next up, it's Ernest's favourite. It is the Promenade Shop. Overpriced chocolate, you know it. And then we're in to the atrium. Bobby's really like this atrium. It's nice and bright, plenty of light coming through. It's pretty spectacular, spans three decks.
and of an evening, you might even get some entertainment. Maybe a silent disco. Or maybe some amazing performers performing just like this. Keelan Cow. This is a gastro pub. So think steaks, think pies, and also think is it the best burger at sea? Mm, I'm not too sure. But what do you think? Is it the best burger at sea? I think I'm going to need to try a few more burgers to make that verdict. But anyway, this is the Keelan Cow. It's on the atrium on deck eight and of course you've seen it in the corner it's an extra charge let's head down to deck number seven on the atrium are you in the mood for some fine wines Personally selected by wine expert Ollie Smith, thought you were, would you like to accompany it with some tapas? Well, you're in luck. It is the glass house. Pay per item. And you'll see in a second that we paid for quite a few items here. Talking of fine wines, it's the cellar door. Open 24 hours a day. If you have an inquiry, head to reception. Be nice. Time for some shopping. Now we're on deck seven now. We are heading towards the aft of deck seven. So just in case you are following where we are, we'll just come off the atrium. What do you fancy? Watches, jewelry, clothes, they have it all here. Nice place to wander of a sea day. There is also just behind this port shop here as well, you have your drink and cigarettes, your duty free. This is where you get your P&O goods. Once again, Ernest likes it in here. Where are you getting to next? This is the future cruise desk and also where you can do inquiries for the Loyalty Scheme Peninsula Club. And if you're heading ashore on an excursion, you'll need to head here if you have any inquiries or you'd like to book one. If somebody's taking your picture, hopefully a professional, then head here to take a look. If you want to purchase, they have a variety of packages. And now we're at the aft, we're going to head into the restaurant. This is one of the two main restaurants. This one is known as Zenith. Not too much difference between the two restaurants. Checking the horizons. Horizon. Unless you've got two, obviously. But if you've only got one, check in there to see the opening times. One of them will be open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. It is open seating. You can book if it's before 6.30 beforehand, a couple of weeks before. So if you, again, if you've got young kids, this can help you. It, there is a virtual queue, although there was quite a few on this virtual queue. You can just turn up and if it's busy they will give you a pager to take away and you can take away and have a drink but there we go there's the two 
main restaurant offering some stunning views out the aft of the ship. Hope you're enjoying this tour. Don't forget we have plenty of tours already on our channel. You can check out our Iona one. You can check out MSC ones, including Seaview and Virtuosa. And we have plenty more ship tours coming on the way and plenty more Avia content on the way, including food reviews, a complete review. We've got some vlogs and also a room tour of every kind of cabin on board. Exciting stuff. This is Olive Grove. This is included and well worth a visit. Once again, you can book it on the app. You can book it beforehand or just turn up and get a pager. It's Mediterranean food. We highly recommend it. I almost think this is sort of quality you'd get in speciality restaurants. And talking about restaurants we love, a change from Iona replacing one of the MDRs. It's 50s music, it's Diner. It's the 6th Street Diner. Take a look at this, we absolutely love this. It's open from 10 for brunch and lunch and also open for dinner. Next up of a sea day or any day, it's the cinema. On Avia there is three screens, I will tell you why shortly. You need to turn up, head to your screen. What movie are you watching? And unlike Iona, the fourth screen is the escape room. It's £20 for adults and it is £10 for kids. There's two versions, an adult one and a family version. You can book it on the app. For a more chilled out vibe, head to Anderson's. We're now heading towards mid ship on deck six. They also have games here and they also have the gin distillery. They offer tours, just check Horizon for when to book. We're back in the atrium now, beautiful atrium on deck six. Some more shopping opportunities. The 710 Club, music chosen by Gary Barlow. He even chooses the wine. It's on three times a night, you need to book it on the app. Also in the atrium on deck six, we're now at the bottom of the atrium. It's cakes, it's coffees, it's teas. For an extra charge, it's vistas. It's also the Amber Lounge for your drinks. If you have a spare thousand or two or three or four, then it's the gallery. And for a dinner and dine show, prices vary from around £25 to £35, depending on the act. It is the Limelight Club. Every evening from 7, it is adults only. Once again, sorry, Alison Ernest. Book it beforehand on the app or at reception. To the spa for your relaxing hour, two or three, treatments, haircuts, nails, massages, or just head down to the thermal parts. If you want to take a look, they do offer tours at quieter times. It is the spa.
first adjacent to the spa on deck five, it's the gym. And I'll pat myself on the back because I did go four times. Headliners Theatre, home to the Headliners Theatre Company. Shows like Digital, Festival, and Greatest Day. But was it our greatest evening? Find out in our 4 B's review. In here you have talks of a day, comedians and musicians, singers of an evening. The scene, kids club for teenagers. Brodies, the British pub on board. Darts, pool, quizzes, karaoke, and all we can say is we apologise for our singing on karaoke night. The casino. Win some, or most probably lose some. So, my friends, our tour is coming to an end. Thanks for joining us. At the end will be a link to our owner ship tour and don't forget to check out all the other videos on Iona on our channel and many other ships. We have a full series on Avia including a guide to the kids club, the cabins on board, our cabin tour and our full review. But for now hit that subscribe button it is free and it's essential if you love cruise content Press the like and we'll see you again soon for more cruise content on Cruising with the Four Bs. From me, Tom, happy cruising.